everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the pending ammo shortage as well as a few ways that you can acquire ammo. So in today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the pending ammo shortage and then address a few ways that you can either buy ammo or possibly even create some ammunition of your own. One thing that many people don't understand is when there's a pending um, election, typically when there's the, uh, the looming threat of regime change kind of thing, that's when people kind of panic and they start panic buying firearms and ammunition like crazy. This happens almost every single election cycle. What's going on this year is even crazier because we are in the middle of a pandemic and we are having absolutely unprecedented um, policies put into place, attempted to be put into place, things like that. So people are really, really freaking out right now and people are panic buying big time. Me as a firearms manufacturer being in the business, I am having a hard time sourcing parts, sourcing ammunition, sourcing whole firearms. I'm basically sitting here selling out of my products and having a really hard time re-upping and replacing them, you know, in the store inventory. So just so everybody knows, this isn't something that's just going on regionally. It's not just specific to a certain area, a certain caliber or anything like that. This is specifically related to people being afraid for their lives because of the current political environment here in the United States of America. More on that later. For right now, I wanted to ask that if you enjoy the content here on the Prescott Caliber Club channel, please share our videos to your social media pages. Like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell icon that'll help keep you up to date with everything we've got going on right here at the Prescott Caliber Club. So back to the current state of affairs here in the United States. I have a friend who is a member of the military. I'm not gonna mention who he is or anything about where he's stationed or anything, but he had gave me a little inside information the other day and it, things aren't looking good. We are really, really at the very least in a cold war right now. And I mean that. We are sitting here, everybody's locked and loaded, ready to go, but nobody's making a move. That's the current status in the United States of America and across the globe. Who is our enemy? I'm not really sure. I'm guessing China, but I don't know. But most of us, most people who keep their you know, nose to the grindstone, people who pay attention to current events, people who read the news, people who are, you know, paying attention to what's going on around the globe are, are very, very concerned about what's happening. And this is what's causing this major, major spike, this unprecedented spike in gun buying and ammunition buying, okay? People are not simply afraid that there's going to be an election and then um, there's going to be a rule change and you can't buy these guns anymore. That's part of it, but that's not exactly what is going on. Right now, people are actually worried that the government is tyrannical, that the government is at the very least turning tyrannical and could be a threat in the future. We have people who are typically not gun advocates, buying up guns, buying up ammo, buying up supplies. This tells me that going forward as, you know, as the election cycle progresses, I guess, as the 2020 election takes place, and even as the results of the 2020 election come out, it doesn't matter. If Donald Trump wins, everybody on the left is going to be buying ammo and guns. If Joe Biden wins, everybody on the right is gonna be buying ammo and guns. No matter what, everybody right now is afraid and buying ammo and guns. So I suggest that each of you really take this into consideration and get your ammo supply up to par ASAP in any way you can. Now I wanted to talk about a few ways that you can do so. Of course you can go to places like ammoseek.com which is one of my favorite online places to source ammunition but additionally you can search mom and pop um, little stores around your town, sometimes pawn shops, sometimes little places like the Prescott Caliber Club, just little individually owned places have ammunition. 
The Prescott Caliber Club online store currently has a huge stock of ammunition. There's a bunch of random calibers and there are any bunch of random quantities because of the way they were purchased and a lot of these um, different calibers I use for test firing and things like that. So there's odd quantities, odd calibers. But if you go to the Prescott Caliber Club website and use discount code SURVIVE2020, you will save 10% on all of your purchases. You can go ahead and purchase ammo. Now, most of my piecemeal weird odd ammo is being sold, remember, per round. So don't go in there thinking you're buying 50 boxes of ammo. You might just be buying 50 rounds of ammo. Pay attention to that. But if you go through the checkout process, use the discount code SURVIVE2020, choose event pickup, we can then send you an invoice to, to pay for the shipping and I will ship that ammo out because of the current circumstances. It's kind of a hard game for me to play, but I will do so just to make sure that everybody's able to access ammo. So head to prescottcalclub.com, survive2020 is the 10% off discount code and you can go ahead, search our ammo inventory and I will work with you to get it shipped to your current location. Now, additionally, later on this year, I have just secured a deal with a company called Ammo Incorporated. They're a local Am uh, Arizona company who is manufacturing ammunition. I have a whole bunch of their ammo on order, and I was promised between now and election time that a bunch of that ammunition will be coming available. So please keep your eyes peeled to PrescottCalClub.com, where we will have a ton of new ammunition rolling in constantly for sale. Again, there's a bunch of piecemeal ammunition currently on the website that I am willing to work with you guys and sell. So if you're looking for ammo, head on over to our website. Now, another thing that I wanted to cover, another thing I wanted to discuss was the potential of reloading ammunition. A lot of people get a get kind of worried, scared, they're a little timid of reloading, they think it's going to be a very, very complicated process. But the reality is that it's not. It's not such a complicated process. Ammunition is very simple. There's only a few parts. There's your shell casing, which is your empty case. There is your primer, which goes into the back of the empty case, and when the um, firing pin hits it, will actually cause a small ignition. Inside of the case goes your gunpowder, and then you push it all down and block it all, seal it all in with your actual projectile. So matching known rounds of ammunition isn't that difficult. For me, a good, a great example of this was my um, Hornady 338 Lapua. It's my favorite round, it's my favorite big long range um, shooting round caliber, and it cost almost $5 a round if you buy it from Hornady. So what I did was I took and located the Barnes um, projectiles that were very similar to what Hornady uses, fresh brass, good powder, primers, and I was able to bring the cost of my ammunition down from $4.97 around to $1.92 around. For me, it was a fiscal decision to do that, but I also learned a valuable lesson. I can make my own ammunition and I can do so for relatively cheap. The point here is that I think any of you who are having a hard time finding the ammunition you need, the ammunition you want to stockpile, it may be well worth your time to consider shifting those funds from finished ammunition into buying a reloading setup. Again, I'm backing this up because I do not think that this ammo shortage is going to be short-lived. I don't think this is going to be until January of next year. I think this is going to continue on for some time, potentially the next four years. Um, if Donald Trump were to be elected or Joe Biden were to be elected, the other side is going to be really, really up in arms and really worried about the, um, you know, what's happening in this country. So I don't see this ammo shortage going away. I don't see the ammunition um, all of a sudden suddenly just, just filling up on the shelves. I think we're going to be facing this for a long, long time. So that's why I think you should potentially consider your own reloading system, okay? I run an RCBS reloader. I really love it. I think most of them are pretty um, pretty standard. You know, you're gonna be dealing with either um, single or multiple round loading systems and things like that. So there are upgrades and there are potentially, you know, better systems, but all in all, getting yourself a basic reloading system, reloading die, 
I don't think you could go wrong there. You can, at the very least, continue to make your own ammo from here on out and save money. But in the meantime, while ammo is nowhere to be found, you could be producing your own. Now this brings me to the next question. How much ammo should I have in each caliber? What calibers are best for SHTF? Why do I choose the calibers I choose? Well, it all depends on personal preference. It depends on what you're comfortable with. But all in all, it really depends on what firearms you have obtained up to this point. For me, now this is just me personally, I'm gonna talk a little bit about calibers here. In my defensive weapons, I'm talking rifles that I carry in my truck, in my house, that I'm potentially going to be defending against a human being, I run 5.56 or 2.23 ammo in that. It's a rifle caliber, it's fast, it's good at penetrating armor, it is deadly and lethal, but it's light, it's a little less expensive than some of the bigger stuff. Now if I'm going out and I'm really going to be doing some potential um, hunting almost, you know, you could look at it that way, um, sniper activities, things like that, I want to step up into a little heavier round, like a 308. That is my favorite mid-range round. Now my favorite long, long range is going to be your 338 Lapua. And again, my remedy to that ammunition shortage has been reloading. But you're going to want to have basically handgun ammunition, defensive, ammu uh, defensive ammo ammunition, and uh, hunting heavier style ammo. That's what I would recommend. For me, this is 9mm, 5.56, and 308. Those are the three big rounds that I keep around here. Now, how much of each round? I don't know. It really depends. And I think the more, the better. I personally keep a huge box of 5.56 ammunition, loaded mags, everything ready to rock and roll in my house. Um, as you can see behind me, I have my saw. That is basically my holy shit, it's on weapon. It's here, it's ready, I've got ammo loaded, I got belts loaded, I've, I'm ready to rock and roll. So, how much of each caliber? I don't know guys, I don't know, that's up to each of you, but me personally, I load enough handgun ammunition to, you know, keep myself, I don't know, maybe maybe 500 rounds of 9mm ammo so that if I'm running around and I'm having to deal with whatever I'm having to deal with, I do have sidearm ammunition. That's important. But the one that I really stock up the most is my 5.56 ammo. That's the one that's the intermediate round. I can hunt with that. I can also be defensive with that. Many, many firearms accept that round. That's a... That's a place where you should consider maybe carrying 223 over 556 for long term preparedness needs. But all in all, I think you need to have three calibers. You need to have handgun sidearm caliber. You need to have a defensive rifle caliber. And then you need to have a larger hunting type caliber, again, like a 308. How much of each round? As much as you can afford to buy. And if you get into the reloading stuff, guys, you don't actually have to worry about how many rounds of ammunition. You can just go ahead and make it anytime you want. So that's my take on ammo. Is there an ammo shortage? You bet your butt there is, and it's going to get worse. Are there ways to still purchase ammo? Yes, there are. Head on over to PrescottCalClub.com. Again, the discount code is SURVIVE2020 for 10% off. You can find a bunch of ammunition over there and ammo will continuously be rolling into our website. Lastly, you can head on over to AmmoSeek.com. That is a place where it's basically a search engine for ammunition sales. You go in there, you type in your, um, your caliber and it'll give you every option of everybody that's registered with the site. And that is probably your very best way to go about procuring ammunition on the internet. So guys, I don't have a whole lot more this week. I'd love to hear some information from you guys down below. What do you guys stock up on? What do you guys carry? What's your handgun round? What's your rifle rounds? Uh, what do you agree with? What do you disagree with in this, in this video? Um, I learn a lot from all of you as I hope you do from me as well. So please provide some feedback down below and I don't have anything else for you. So until next time, you guys stay safe and keep prepping.